G'day, PG from Drifter here. Great system here on a demo for Troopies today. So again, really popular for the Troopies. A uh, bit of a quick rundown on what we've got here. So built-in fridge here on a slide. So this particular fridge is the Engel 60 liter. Of course, we can make this system for any fridge because the whole thing's custom made as with all our systems. So Engel 60 liter fridge in here, which we'll look at in a minute. Um, and then here we have two drawers and just a slide out table. So this system here is the full length of the back of the Troopy. There's no seats, no seats in the back of this Troopy, so we've made the system the full length from the door right up to the back of the seats. Perfect for sleeping on top of, just chuck a mattress on there. If you do have a bench seat in the back, then we can just make this unit shorter to fit up to the back of the bench seat. So, as I said, totally custom made. The length of the unit is custom made, and whatever fridge you've got depicts how the rest of the system is built, the measurements and things. So, we'll start off by looking at the drawers. All right, nice long drawers here. Drifter drawers, all carpet lined on the inside. And um, this is one of our little insert trays. So this is just a little optional extra you can add. A really handy little tray. You can slide it to the back or to the front or take it out. As you can see, no drawer runners. All right, so drifter drawers slide smooth as silk, right? And they just run on two strips of plastic. So there's two strips of plastic in the base of the actual drawer and then there's two strips of plastic on the shelf that the drawer slides on as well. So the plastic slides on the plastic and they slide as good as that, really, really good. So no need for runners. Runners are really heavy. They take up a lot of space, so your drawers would be narrower. And um, yeah, obviously runners are more expensive than the plastic, so great system. Another drawer up here, exactly the same as the one down below. Drifter's table. So the table can be slid halfway out like this, which is a really good bench. So when you pull the fridge out, you might want to be taking things out of the fridge and you can use the table as just a little bench temporarily. Or obviously the table comes out and there's a full set of legs under there. Legs hinge open in seconds. There's your table. So the height of the table can be adjusted up or down and all the legs can be adjusted individually. So if you're ever on uneven ground, you can always get your table nice and steady. Full laminated top, so easy to clean. Push these little buttons and the legs just hinge away like that. All right, stores away nice and easy. Okay, so the one thing you want easy to get to is your table. And being built in like that and just sliding out, super easy. Okay, so yeah, the fridge slide. So yeah, this is the Engel 60 litre, this fridge. So we can build this unit around any fridge, like I mentioned earlier. If you are planning to sleep on top, then obviously we wanted to keep this height down is pretty important. So the Engel 60 is a good fridge because it's, it's, it's one of the lower height fridges. It's, the fridge is 440 mil height. And um, so that means we can keep the height of this unit down here. So there's not heaps of room for sleeping on the top, but um, you know, there's, there's, there's enough. So if, you, if you've got a different fridge, then you know, the height of the fridge will affect the height of the unit. Generally, the height of this piece of the top of the unit here is 100 mil more than whatever your fridge is. So by the time you allow for the material, a bit of space, the fridge slide, it's 100 mil that you add on. So if your fridge measures 440 mil, like the angle 60, then this will measure 540 from the floor, all right? Okay, so this fridge is on a slide. This is one of our built-in drifter slides. Okay, so you can see it's nice and neat. It's all carpeted, matches the drawers, looks really cool. Um, and the good thing about our slide is we custom make it whatever size. So we can build the slide again around the fridge. So it's a really, really good way of doing things. So you just release the black lock, release the yellow tab, the fridge slides out. Okay, so with this system here, we've actually ex made an extended slide. And then in front of the fridge here, we've got a box, which is just an extra storage area. So because the troop is so long, rather than having all this space at the front, which is a little bit more difficult to access, we've just made the slide longer and built in this rear box here. So we do this a lot. It's a really popular feature, that extra box on the back of the fridge slide. Okay, so your fridge is here, really great. And when you finish, you just release the tab and the fridge just slides away. Okay, this tab here locks it in. And this, this black latch here is just an, just an extra latch to pull the slide in tight and take all the pressure off the runner. So when you're traveling down the road or you're rattling around the bush, the, the fridge isn't rattling around. The black latch there pulls the slide in. 
Okay, so yeah, we've got some. Um, these are the side wings, what we call these panels here. All right, so the side wings just lift off and you can access all this space down the side here. So around the wheel arches, there's always a lot of space. These little gray brackets just slide out as well. So you get full access down there when you need. On this unit here, down the back here, we've also fitted uh, an ARB twin compressor and the, the four liter tank is in here as well. So any 12 volt work like compressors, dual batteries, we do all that. Um, we've done a full battery install, which we'll have a quick look at in a moment in the front here. Here's our Baintech panel. So pretty common feature on our, our Drifter 12 volt installs. The Baintech panel's got a bolt gauge at the top. It's got two SIG sockets and down the bottom is a USB. Here's the switch for the compressor. All right, so nice and easy to get to. And there's the remote coupling. So, you know, you just, when you want to use the compressor, you, you get your hose out of your drawer, plug it in, switch it on, and off you go. All right, well, we'll have a look around the front. All right, so up the front here, we have two lift-off lids on this fit-out. So with the, the drawers and everything at the back, the maximum length we normally make them is about 1,500. And we've got about roughly two meters here in the troopy, so up the front here, we've, um, on this particular job, we've built in these two lift-off lids, okay? So they just lift off, and then you've got access to a lot of storage right here. So you can use this for general storage or whatever you like. Um, sometimes what we do is we keep the top solid, and then we put a drop-down door on the front. So that way, if you've got a lot of gear in here or you've got a mattress set up on the top, you don't have to lift the mattress to get in. You can just drop down a door. Um, so yeah, it just depends on what you prefer. We can do either. On this side here, we've built in a dual battery system. So in here, we've got a 125 amp hour lithium battery. Pretty nice bit of gear. Um, the DC charger is a 1225. So you've got the 25 amp charger in there as well. And we've got a water tank in here as well. So built in here is a water tank that goes from one side of the vehicle to the other. And it's just got a um, an outlet that gravity feeds out through the side door here and then the filling point is just under the side wing here so fill it up you just run a hose into the into the filling point and then when you want to drain water out you just open the door and it gravity feeds out through the side door yeah so that's the demo of this system here for troopies we do lots and lots of different systems so check out the website um, we've got a whole we've got a whole section dedicated to the troopy very popular vehicle lots of different systems we do so um, yeah lots of things to look at and um, yeah if you've got any questions you can email me mark at drifter.com.au or you can just give us a call thank you